Hi, my name is Michael Nichols. I'm a dog trainer here in Bellingham, Washington, USA. I'm going to answer three questions. The first question is, what will happen when your dog gets it right? Well, something good. Often food, sometimes praise and or affection. Sometimes a moment of play with another dog or a moment of play with you. Sometimes access to a new environment like in the car or out of the car, in the house or out of the house. Something new and different that your dog desires. What will happen when your dog gets it wrong? Usually nothing. Usually, particularly during the training session, if your dog's not getting it, I'd recommend ignoring it, trying again, changing something about your approach to try and get it right. Recognize that it's our job to teach our dogs, not their dog to read our minds. Sometimes, though, we might remove a privilege, including access to us. If our dog is doing something that's painful or obnoxious, I'll often recommend just leaving the area for only a few seconds, coming back, letting them try it again. Lastly, is there something that we might do that's less invasive or less aversive? Well, we should always recognize that when we do remove ourselves from the environment, it can really be stressful to our dogs. So we should only do it if we're really sure that it's the right thing to do and that it's safe wherever we're going to leave them, like in a room when we leave the room, somewhere that it's safe to do so. I'm always open to new ideas. I'm always ready to find a way that's less stressful for our dogs. Uh, part of my philosophy is that we must never hurt dogs, not even their feelings. We don't ever want to do anything that's going to cause them more fear or more stress of us or any part of their life or world. Thanks for listening. Weave. 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 Yeah. Weave. Weave. Good boy. Bear, roll over. Good. Down. Bear, roll over.